retro gamers, welcome back to another top 10. Today we're going to count down the top 10 most difficult NES games of all time. Buckle up, get ready, because here's our list. Number 10. Fester's Quest. In 1989, Sunsoft brought us the thrilling Fester's Quest for the NES, inspired by the iconic 1960s TV show The Addams Family. Our hero, Fester, springs into action when he spots aliens attacking the city. Armed with his trusty blunderbuss, he dives into the fray to save the day. As Fester ventures deeper into town, he discovers cool new weapons and gadgets to help him on his epic quest to reach the alien mothership and rescue his beloved family members. But hold on to your hats because Fester's Quest is one wild ride. This game has become a cult classic for its mind-boggling difficulty. It's packed with unexpected challenges that can lead to some seriously frustrating moments. In a fun way, of course. The unpredictable difficulty spikes keeps you on your toes as you never know when you'll cruise through a level or face a near impossible challenge. And just to make things extra spicy, when Fester's defeat Defeated, you have to start from scratch. So get ready for countless retries as you embark on this unforgettable hair pulling adventure. Number 9. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Let's dive into the swampy world of the Adventures of Bayou Billy, where you'll step into the shoes of Billy West, a New Orleans native and Crocodile Dundee-esque survivalist. Our fearless hero, once a soldier, has now become a vigilante crime fighter, and he's got a bone to pick with the local crime lord, Godfather Gordon. When a dastardly villain kidnaps Billy's girlfriend, it's time for Billy to jump into action and battle his way through nine exhilarating stages. From the murky Bayou to the bustly Bourbon Street. But don't be fooled, The Adventures of Bayou Billy is not your average platformer. Originating as a computer game called Mad City, it was revamped with eye-catching graphics for the time and had its difficulty cranked up to the max. This intense challenge might have been too much for most players, ultimately hindering the game's potential for a successful franchise. Number 8. Mega Man 1. Let's rewind to 1987 when the first ever Mega Man burst onto the NES scene. This groundbreaking game featured six action-packed stages, each ending in an epic boss fight that pushed the limits of early NES gaming. With every level conquered, players unlocked a new unique weapon making the choice of stage order crucial for strategic gameplay. But what makes Mega Man a true test of skill? Why, it's the game's innovative design, inspired by the classic rock, paper, scissors concept. Each acquired weapon boasts immense power, but some enemies are immune, while others are completely unscathed. No weapon reigns supreme, so strategizing your attack is key here. Diving in without proper planning almost guarantees failure, so you need to play repeatedly to uncovered the best moves. Add in a plethora of enemies and traps, and you've got a challenging platformer that will have you biting the dust more often than you'd like. Mega Man has proudly worn the Nintendo Hard Badge of Honor for decades, and with good reason. Number 7. Top Gun. Let's take a trip back to 1987 when the thrilling Top Gun game soared onto the NES, hot off the heels of the blockbuster movie's 1986 release. In Top Gun, players step into the cockpit of Maverick himself, completing four high-flying missions in your trusty F-14 Tomcat. This game broke the mold with two different endings based on your score. Score 50,000 points or more, and you'll snag the coveted Top Gun gun plaque, just like Iceman did in the movie. But watch out, Top Gun is no walk in the park. Sure, the aerial dogfights might be a breeze, but the real challenge lies in landing that Tomcat. Touching down on the aircraft carrier is notoriously tricky, and even following the on-screen instructions might leave you crashing into the ocean or the ship's hull. It's doable, but only a select few have mastered it without resorting to cheat codes. And just when you thought it couldn't get harder, Top Gun throws a near-impossible mid-air refueling challenge. Aligning everything just right is a Herculean feat. So buckle up, gamers, because Top Gun will push your piloting skills to the limit. Number 6. 
Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Get ready to sink your teeth into the wickedly challenging Castlevania 3, a game so tough it makes the original Castlevania look like a walk in the park. Now let's start with those infamous stairs. Throughout the game, you'll need to scale these treacherous steps while dodging a barrage of enemies and projectiles. The catch? Your movement, it's super limited, forcing you to creep along at a snail's pace. That is, except when you've got to kick it into high gear just to survive. But that's not all. This game is a twisted labyrinth of platforming death traps, topped off with a jaw-dropping three-stage boss battle. And if you meet your doom at any point during the fight and continues are up, yep, that's right, you're starting the level over. Castlevania 3 is truly a beautifully haunting gaming nightmare you don't want to miss. Number 5 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. Cowabunga, dudes! Let's travel back to 1989 when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle was all the rage and they made their radical debut on the NES. Based on the smash hit 1987 animated series, this gnarly game sends our heroes in a half shell, Leo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo on a daring mission to snatch the life transformer gun from the clutches of the evil Shredder. Join the Turtles as they team up with their allies, face off against foes, and storm the Technodrome for an epic showdown with Shredder himself. Now brace yourself for a challenge because this game is no pizza party. Let's talk about the notorious water level. It's the stuff of gaming nightmares. Players still recall the sheer frustration of navigating through countless obstacles even decades later. But that's not the only hurdle for TMNT for the NES. From classic franchise moments to devilishly designed levels that'll make you you question your love for the turtles, this game demands persistence and patience. Sure, it's beatable, but you need to buckle up for countless retries as you battle your way through the wild and wacky adventure. So grab a slice and get ready to kick some shell. Number 4. Ninja Gaiden. Get ready, Ninja fans, for a blast from the past with notoriously challenging Ninja Gaiden. Join Ryu, our fearless ninja hero, as he ventures to America to avenge his father's death and foil the wicked plans of the Chiquillo. With the fate of the world hanging in the balance, Ryu must stop the ancient demon from being unleashed, battling through six action-packed acts featuring a whopping 20 levels. But beware, fellow gamers, for Ninja Gaiden is not for the faint of heart. This game's brutal difficulty is the stuff of legend, showing absolutely no mercy for even the slightest slip-up. You'll need razor-sharp reflexes and impeccable timing just to stay alive. And hey, let's not forget those pesky birds that swoop down without warning, knocking you into pits and making your life a living nightmare. If you're brave enough to reach the final level, and kudos to you for that, prepare for an unrelenting gauntlet that's undoubtedly responsible for the demise of countless controllers back in the 80s. So grab your ninja gear and get ready to take on one of the toughest games ever to grace the gaming world. Number 3. Silver Surfer Get ready, Marvel fans, for a wild ride you'll never forget with Silver Surfer on the NES. Experience a thrilling mix and frustrating of side-scrolling and overhead gameplay split into action-packed stages. Take control of the iconic Silver Surfer as you zap mini-bosses and navigate your way through a storyline that'll make you feel like you're part of a comic book adventure. And hey, while it might not be Marvel's finest adaptation, it's certainly one for the record books. Hold on tight because Silver Surfer is no easy feat. You'll soar through the skies on your surfboard, blasting silver balls at enemies, but don't be fooled by the surfer's comic book prowess. In this game, he's surprisingly weak. He's very vulnerable, making for a challenging and sometimes frustrating experience. Sure, he's a powerhouse in the Marvel Universe, but in this NES adventure, he's, well, not that. Fear not, brave gamers. A handy password system can grant our hero invincibility, giving you a fighting chance to conquer this game. But without it, you'll need serious skills and determination to make it through this most unforgiving cosmic quest. So grab your board and prepare for the ultimate test of superhero grit.
Number two, Battletoads. Get ready to flex those gaming muscles, folks, because we're diving into Battletoads, the legendary beat-em-up side-scrolling platformer from Rare that's notorious for its jaw-dropping difficulty. Battletoads shares quite a few similarities with its reptilian counterpart, but don't be fooled, this game is in a league of its own. So why so hard, you ask? It's like this game was crafted by a mastermind of mischief. Each level ramps up the challenge, pushing you to the edge of your gaming limits. Best enjoyed with two players, Battletoads can be both a blast and a disaster, as friendly fire means you might accidentally wipe out your buddy or meet your own untimely demise at their hands. With obstacles demanding spot-on timing and precision, even the tiniest slip-up can prove fatal. Despite its reputation as one of the toughest games on the NES, Battletoads has a loyal fan base that has helped it score numerous awards and spawn an awesome franchise. So gather your friends, take a deep breath, and prepare to tackle the wild world of Battletoads. Number 1. Welcome to the spooky, albeit challenging world of Ghosts and Goblins, the 1985 arcade sensation that took the gaming world by storm. With its incredible graphics, engaging sound effects, and quirky gameplay mechanic that leaves your character stripped of armor and clothes when hit, this game is a blast from the past. Watch out though, you can only take two hits before it's game over and back to the start of the level. But wait, there's even more to this Nintendo hard challenge. Ghosts and Goblins is a nail-biting platformer where you'll face hordes of zombies, demons, ogres, dragons, and undead monsters in your quest to rescue the Princess Prin Prin from the clutches of Astaroth, King of the Demon World. Sounds tough, right? Well, it gets even harder. After countless replays to master the moves and finally conquering the game, you're rewarded with, drum roll please, the chance to play the entire game again to get an even higher difficulty level. That's right, only after braving this torturous gauntlet twice can you claim victory over the real final battle and say you've truly beaten Ghosts and Goblins. So gather your courage and prepare for an epic double dose adventure that'll push your gaming skills to the limit. There you have it, retro gamers. Those are our top 10 most difficult NES games of all time. Which games do we leave off the list? Let us know in the comments below, and hey, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.